I want to say, I want to say African Americans or black people or whatever you want to call yourself, um, people of color in this country, don't be afraid. We cannot vote for people based on the color of their skin. We cannot vote for people based on their gender. We have to look at the truth. This war on drugs is killing our children, it's killing our families, it's killing our communities. This war on guns is killing our children, it's killing our families. There are too many nonviolent of our men sitting, sitting in prison. There are too many black women without husbands because young black boys are struggling in school. We need the education system turned back over to the states and we need to get rid of these federal crimes so we can build our families back and love each other and take care of each other. Don't be afraid. Take a stand. Believe in the truth. If Ron Paul wasn't in this race, with more study, see I just found out they said that Barack Obama was going to send 100,000 more troops. So mm, he said that I think in March. So, and I'm really against the war. I have a 12-year-old son who's brilliant. Um, I come from a family of veterans, so I don't have a problem with people fighting for their country, but we need to fight in just wars. Um, so I can't say, because nobody matches Ron Paul. Nobody uh, tells the truth as far as they know it. Well, yeah, I don't want to call them liars, but we can be tasteful here. <laughs> but, but freedom is popular. I um, became a Ron, Ron Paul supporter in uh, June, actually, and I started a meetup group. And we've just been sending out emails to our friends and telling them about the meetup and telling them how this man brings together people of all races, all socioeconomic backgrounds, all political affiliations, because freedom is truth and truth is power and we can live and be free in this country if we believe we can.